She earned a 95 average and finished at the top of her class of 150. She did it while completing four years of high school in two. She did it while homeless, her mother dead, her father a drug addict living in shelters. And any way I describe this can't do justice to her accomplishments. So I'll just introduce to you our sixth New York Times scholarship winner, Liz Murray. Everything's changed. Uh, my life will never be the same. And I don't know what else to say except for thank you. Thank you very much. Liz! Liz! How'd you do this? How could I not do it? My parents showed me what the alternative was. Didn't you ever feel sorry for yourself? Sorry? Sleeping in subways, eating out of dumpsters. That had always uh, been my life. And I really, I feel that I got lucky because any sense of security was pulled out from under me. So I was forced to look forward. I had to. There uh, was no going back. And I reached a point where I just thought, all right, I'm going to work as hard as I possibly can and see what happens. And now I'm going to college. And, uh, and the New York Times is going to pay. <laughs> so you were lucky. But is there anything you'd change if you were able? Yeah. I'd give it back. All of it. If I could have my family back. I got into Harvard. I got a job at the New York Times. I got an apartment. I don't have to carry my whole life with me anymore. I don't have to carry my whole life with me. But I do. Everyone I've known, everything I've done. Pieces chip off. I forget the little things. And it's still hard to carry alone. So that's why I've told you. That's why I've told you my story. And now I can lay that burden down, put it to rest, and, and I can go on. Hi, Mom. Don't close your eyes. Dreaming out.